yeah, and also exactly. the music's really creepy, and the fact that you know they creak every time they talk. That's also creepy. Like this is the one that, that is one of the creepiest things I've ever seen in a game, genuinely, because the <laughs> noises make it. If the noises weren't there, it would be just a normal place. But yeah, it's it's really funny because um, one of them you bring one on board the ship essentially because each world you bring one across, and um, and I think yeah, so it's, it's a little I think it's a girl. A fairly youngish girl who comes with you, and um, and uh, and I think um, I can't remember who it is who says it, but someone says um, something like, ha um, why, "Why are we bring it along?" It's uh, well, at least it won't, it won't be able to like talk or move without um, the uh, power of the world, because obviously you have to make it. Um, you have to turn the thing. They on. said in our dimension. Yeah. So it's that. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so if you you change dimension, so like it won't work in our dimension, um, and uh, and then um, the girl speaks and just like, no, that's just a prank we play on all um, visitors. It's like, you bitch! <laughs> all of you oh act. My. It's so creepy. <laughs> it's yeah, like, it is creepy. Like they're all just, just imagine this. You're just a random child, and this is perfect for children. Like this will screw every child up in the brain with this game. And it's not intentional. Yeah. But it's see, I played cool. so many scary games that I'm about to make you go insane. Um, or not completely insane, but just like kind of make you think about this too much than you should. Just imagine you're a little child mm. and you're going into this sort of foggy state of an area. It's sort of a cliche, sort of scary movie type idea. But just imagine you're a little child, probably the age of five. And you just walk into this random place. You're the innocent child that you are, don't realize anything, or you're just so intrigued in this place. And you see all kinds of dolls just laying there. Now, see, there's something special about children that I never understood, or I guess I should understand, is because they're so unique. Children are unique. They look at things in a very different perspective as adults do, because they're more of the free will type of child, and they're more innocent. So, in the mindset of this five-year-old, when they look at the doll, they'll either think this doll is alive, because it puts them into this, oh, hey, there's a doll, I'm gonna imagine that they're real. Or, they're the opposite of that child, and just walking around, they f find these dolls to be creepy. Just think of it as this. Imagine the child that has imaginary type ways, and the child imaginary, uh, his imaginary, or her imaginary, it's more better if it was a girl than a boy, in my opinion, just because it's more creepy if it has to do with a girl than a boy, just because that's why they use movies with little girls more than little boys, unless it's like the Omen movie or something like that. But like, let's just put it like this. A little girl just sees these dolls and then just imagines them being real. And then, out of nowhere, these dolls come to life but she's thinking it's all in her head because she's still innocent. And just imagine if these dolls weren't really nice. They actually were sort of like hypnosis. And if you, many of you might not, or many of you may know, the hypnosis story, which is the hypnosis um, hypnosis children and then takes them to a cave and then murders them. 